So we have finally arrived in Madrid. Okay, okay. It's enough to make a shake, right? For sure. We only here for three nights. Now we're on the first floor, so we don't have that much of a, you know, a scenery, but you okay? Nothing happened. Welcome to Madrid, Spain. On this episode, we have 72 hours to explore and see what Madrid has to offer. From rides throughout the city to getting pulled over by the police. It's not allowed to, to fly this. No? Nope. In Spain, it's not allowed. Yeah, this video is full of adventures that you definitely don't want to miss. So grab your popcorn, hit that like button, and let's get this movie started. Good morning from Madrid. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We're going to get some breakfast right now. Yeah, I know I find the best food places. I do all the research and data collecting and find out locations, what we're going to do, when we're going to do it, how we're going to do it. And I try to find all the fun stuff. Every now and again, Jazz chips in with that. Just like every now and again with the editing, I might chip in with a little bit of idea or here and there with that. Sure. So we both got our strengths and our weaknesses and we both add to this relationship in different ways. Mm -hmm. But now we're about to go get breakfast and we'll see when we get there. So we just got done wrapping up breakfast. I'll give the breakfast a four star out of five. What would you say? Um, if I had a rate 10 being the best, I'd give it I just said eight. five stars. I can okay, go to 10. Out of, out of five stars, <laughs> I'd give it a three. A three? Yeah. Okay, I give it a four. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. my pancakes were a little, a little dry. But yeah, and my waffles was, was trash. Yeah. But French toast was busting with the eggs on top. Why am I always spitting when I'm talking? You always spit. <laughs> yeah, all in all, French toast good. Four stars out of five. Jazz gives it three out of five. So on to next, time to go for a stroll in the park. Let's go. Well, we're about to ride through the city. I'm excited. <laughs> For the lady. Thank you. <laughs> you get too excited, man. Thank you. I, you I, yeah, I'll just take my blanket. No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't got to put it on me, brother. <laughs> no? Yeah, it's okay. Thank you, though. <laughs> so, Corey and I decided to take a stroll around one of Madrid's most famous parks. And let me tell you, this was such a great experience. And y'all, the weather was so perfect. It was such a great way to get out and just explore Madrid. It was very romantic and I would definitely recommend doing this. What are those statues? The, the Royal Palace. Royal Palace? Yes, in, in 16, uh, 16, 16, seven, uh, 70, seven, se 70, 17. 70. Yeah, yep. seven, 70. Yep. No 70. 70, 70. 70, 70. Yes. Ah. Oh, it's very old. Yeah, very old. I ain't never heard of 770. Please travel. When I tell you this whole Europe trip has been like life changing, I've learned like so much and I just want people to travel because this is amazing. I agree, for sure. Definitely gotta get out there and live. There's only way you're gonna be able to do it is like not even thinking about it, just getting up and going and figuring out the rest as you go. Like Slim said, you just gotta get out there and live and we hope we can encourage y'all to do just that. But back to the ride, we are headed to our next stop in the park, which is called the Glass Palace. This is the most romantic place in the park. Oh. Y'all, they even had black swans. I don't know about y'all, but I've actually never seen one in person before today. But he was right. The area was so romantic and so beautiful. But most importantly, it was just unique. When you walk in, you're greeted with this fog-like material in the air, and the whole place is made entirely of glass. If y'all have the opportunity to come to Madrid, make sure you find somebody with the decorations and the understanding, yeah. like how it is out here, because this is a straight vibe. It is. It's way better than walking. For sure. So not just on just uh, being exhausted tip, but also from the perspective of it, you take it in better. Yeah. Right, the energy. And you take a lot more in. Yeah, as for opposed sure. to if you're walking to all these places, yeah. you know, 
And it's a vibe. You it can is. see the city. And, yeah. You know, I like it. It's pretty legendary. It's different than what we've ever done in Europe. For sure. I don't permit it to enter and, and get in with this right. vehicle. Right. Okay. That's all right good. Back. They come. You just tell them you here with Love and Slim, brother. You just say you here with Love and Slim. Everything is a, it's a, it's pardoned. It's all good. It's okay. My English is. It's all good, good brother. I'm just give me a power degree. There you go. I, I, I am uh, learning uh, even English. You're really good. Yes, really and, good. And, and and wow. we're and we're learning Spanish, but no good. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're, we're no good. Ah. So your I, English is better than our Spanish. Yes. Yes. Oh. Very much. I, I speak only uh, Portuguese, Spain, uh, in English uh, very little. little yeah. no? Ours, uh, Spanish, zero. So don't, zero. so don't feel bad, brother. Don't feel bad. <laughs> Y'all want to know something that is similar to here in Prague? What? All the statues. Oh, for sure. He got every single statue <laughs> out here. I don't know what my new fascination is with statues. I really, really like them now. I don't know where all of a sudden that came from, but I usually you wasn't that much into the statues. But when I tell you they got every statue known here to mankind, they got one that's far up the walkway where you go all the all the way up the walkway in the trees, mm -hmm. and you can see there's one with a man on a horse. It got some real time stamping dates from like 1800s or something wild. Mm -hmm. And then you walk back over this way, and then you got the main ones as soon as you walk into this mook right here. Mm -hmm. And then you got the statues of like the woman in the wheelchair. Then you got the main centerpiece statue, the whole centerpiece where it's just like a needle and it comes all the way down. They got statues surrounded all around it. One other thing I'm gonna tell you about this place is super, super, super packed. So there's people all on boats all around here. You got uh, seagulls flying around everywhere. Seagulls, pigeons, ducks. They got the lines over there. Look, I'm excited. Look, they got the ones where the water spitting out of like the mermaids and the fish. They got one on top of the fish. Like got like a like a thing that I'll beat you in your head if you don't spit this water out your mouth. You know what I mean? They got that one. Man, it's just so much here. It's, it's hard to articulate all of it. But. Well, good job for getting all of the footage you did really yeah, well this is beautiful like i say man if i wouldn't get all this footage we wouldn't have no video our videos would be three minutes every time yeah. we'll be, be doing three minute uploads yeah, we'll be doing shorts yeah <laughs> that's a fact though all right the jig is up we go overall i'm giving this experience a 10 out of 10 our tour guide was amazing the weather was perfect it was just an overall great experience so now that this hour and a half is up it's time to head back to the front that is it that's it, folks. No, that's all, folks. Oh, that's all, folks. That's all, folks. So now we are in a taxi and we are headed to Icono. I K O N O. Seems like it's going to be a legendary spot, so without further ado. Let it go. So we have a 20 minute wait. That line that we've seen right there, that was actually for Icono. But yeah. shout out to Rochelle. We ran into yeah. some G love out here. Crazy. Yeah, super legendary. And I always yeah. love when my baby get her flowers uh, oh. because she, she deserve them. You know what I mean? And she's tapped in with us and she loves jazz. And I thought that was really cool. So Rochelle, we appreciate you and we thank you very much. They yeah. were all from Barbados. We appreciate everybody that supported us and taps in with us individually, collectively, and uh, all of the above. So there you go. love y'all. This is so against what I will usually do. These balls are disgusting and probably have so much germs on it. But when it Rome, I'm gonna do it. So I lost my hat. He said take off everything before you go in there. And sure enough, I wear a hat so much I forgot the hat was even on my head. So I gotta find the hat. Don't run into the cops, that's a big exercise. Don't run into the cops, that's the motto. I don't see it. Good job, baby. Coming to an end like legato. Get chipped like cicado. Send a wave through the hood. Now nah, sounding like vibrato. Why you eat bread with avocado? We be trying to die shells before I land in our tomato. Singing all my sorrows on Apollo. I've been trying to pave the way, but they didn't tell me it was potos. Mm. America ain't dreaming. They been scheming when the birth of a nation came from black. black, black, black. Uh, we all know it's black. Black kingdoms. Everybody love the culture. They be black by convenience. 
Shining like a real anthem Charlie saw my wallet, now she think I think I answer Whoa, telling me she wanted me to hammer Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer No, I can never trick, trick, trick Let's the bitch, use my bitch with a kiss on my lips Like, oh, I am not a pimp with a limp I'm a man Just with like a gift that. and I'm doing my shit We are like, back oh. at the hotel We ready to get the fuck ASAP Three. Yes, it hasn't necessarily gone according to plan. Not really. We are outside of Renault. It's, it's spelled Renault in America, but over here, the T is silent, so it's just Renault. The service and mechanic light actually came on from Lisbon, Portugal, coming, on, coming to Madrid, Spain. Yeah. It's EK's team's car, so we are necessarily don't know how to do that, and then we never got a car serviced overseas, let alone in a country where one of our friends ain't at who owns the car. But he, they told us that we actually need to go get our passports. So we had to go back to the hotel, get our passports, come back here. We don't know how much they're going to charge us. We, yeah. we don't know what this is looking like. They can say anything. We're just going to be like, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we need a car. So, and but we, I mean, it won't be that much. It's only going to be an oil yeah. change. And, um, Windshield washer fluid. 216 USD dollars. <laughs> <laughs> the jig is up. <laughs> Yes, because it could have been worse. It could have been getting nothing done. That's true. Jazz That's gonna break true. down the bill for y'all in the car. It needed a lot of oil, so it came out to one forty. The service alone was seventy four dollars. That was that was just the service alone, on top of the one forty for the oil, and then for the fluid for the windshield wipers was sixteen dollars. I am baffled right now, but <laughs> whatever. At the end of the day, we got it done. So it was 187 euros, which was equivalent to 216 US dollars. 216 US dollars. Well, as you can see, we are still in Madrid, Spain, and we will get to this in one second. It got some legendary history behind it. But today we started off this morning by checking out of our hotel. Today's our last day in Spain. And since I haven't got no drone shots for y'all this entire time, I've been looking up the laws in Madrid, Spain, Portugal, everywhere we go, I look up the drone laws and me and Jazz, we try our best to follow the rules and regulations. But the drones can be a little tricky sometimes because sometimes the drone will say it can't fly here and it won't let you fly there and then you just know it's in a restricted space. And then sometimes it lets you fly and you're in a restricted space and then things pop up, but you don't really know how to read it that well. I haven't been flying a drone for that long. So long story short, we checked out of our hotel this morning, we left. And today on the last day, I said, man, I got to get y'all some drone shots because y'all know I like capturing all the top level B-roll on the camera. Y'all know I like capturing all the drone shots and all the cinematics. That way, Jazz could put her top level editing skills on it. Only way she could put her top level editing skills on it is if I put my top level visionary capturing skills on it, if that make any sense. So long story short, I went out to get the drone shots today. It's kind of been scared to fly because I've been getting mixed reviews with drones in Spain. So today, I decided to take a leap of faith and, well, let's just say, didn't pan out that well. Buenos dias. Trabajas con un dron. Huh? English? Un drone. English? Drone? Drone? Si. No se puede. Aquí no se puede, boda. Aquí no se puede. No drone? No. Um, hold on. Google, Google, yes. It's not allowed to to fly this. No. In, in Spain, it's not allowed. Okay. In oh. in Spain. In Spain, in Spain, in other country, I don't know, but in Spain, it's not allowed to to fly oh. there. Oh, I'm sorry. I I, I didn't know. Ah, I know. <laughs> I didn't know. If you fly the drone, you have to pay a lot of money. And it's not allowed because there is a lot of people. Okay. Only can use the drone many many people. Okay. Do you understand me? A little Here bit. Here is not allowed. Okay. Not allowed. No. Okay. 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 Are we good to go? Okay. I think that means we're good. Okay, well, no Spain, not allowed ever. Well, that was cool, they could have took it. The cops were really cool, man. Shout out to the cops out here in Madrid, Spain, because they were really cool. Um, I was trying to see if they spoke English. Uh, I don't, obviously, I know I can't speak Spanish. So long story short, they were actually really cool. And it was actually a little confusing, and a little lost in translation. And if you go to my video on my channel, Tall Guy, I told y'all one of my worst fears was having a police encounter 
um, abroad because I don't want to be lost in translation. I don't want to make it seem like I'm doing something bad when I'm not coming into it with bad intention or different things like that. I'm trying my best to read the laws and regulations, so it's jazz. But unfortunately, it didn't pan out too well today. So since they pulled us over, I thought they were actually going to take the drone, and they ultimately didn't. And um, shout out to the police out here in Madrid, Spain, for being that cool because um, it was really my ignorance that could have got the drone taken, footage, all that stuff. And it just would have made a big old hiccup for nothing. But like I told y'all, I'm passionate about capturing these shots for y'all. Um, so like I said, I was getting mixed reviews and I kind of didn't know where to fly, where not to and different things like that. So I got to obviously do a lot more homework getting in to the drone stuff and everything like that. Um, so that way we don't have these kind of mishaps and confusions when we go in any other different countries or cities all around the world. But with that being said, we are currently at the Plaza de Toros and I actually didn't know what this place was, but my brother, Derry, shout out to you, bro. He actually told me about this place. So, you know, when you watch the cartoons like Tom and Jerry and all the other different cartoons, you know, when you grow up as a kid and they're doing the red flag and trying to get the bull to attack and then they kind of do the rope-a-dope. The bull thinks it hit a person, but it actually didn't. It. This is the place where they actually do it at. Now, it's not in season right now. It's not happening, but we decided to go in, tour the whole spot, me and Jazz. I thought it was pretty cool, ultimately. Uh, we couldn't see the bulls with the red flags and waving it and getting agitated and all mad and different things like that. But we did get to go in there and see the whole understanding of the stadium. But now we're about to make a few more runs before we leave Madrid, Spain on this last day. So it's later that night and before we leave Madrid, we are having dinner with Jorge and his family. To give you some back history, DJ, which is Corey's brother, used to live here in Madrid and he stayed with Jorge and his family for a year. DJ taught them English and they taught him Spanish. So they're literally like DJ's second family. So they invited us to their home and made a full Spanish dinner for Corey and I. Paella. 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 There we go. Look, oh man. <laughs> With the apron. There we go. <laughs> so what's this? Shrimps. Shrimps. Mm. But also, you put that on the paella. Paella, you see? Come on. Come on, I'm getting it quick, all right? Paella, yeah, give me some. We got the sangria. We got, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. There you go. Uh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. My, Sp my Spaniard family. DJ just made it official. I know, shout out to DJ. <laughs> we are in Geneva, Switzerland, and we are so excited. We're about to polar plunge in Switzerland. No, that's cool. All right, y'all, so we're at Glacier 3000 where we are about to walk across the sky bridge. You can literally walk from one mountain to the other mountain on a sky bridge. 